hey guys it's Derek welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome in this video is the full comparison between the Infinix 08 and the Oppo A92 I'll be telling you guys which of these devices you should get and why without wasting any much of your time let's get started both of these phones are made out of plastic which is a polycarbonate but one thing I really don't like about it the build is the glossy finishing at the back which attracts a lot of fingerprints so I will advise any user to get a TPU case. At the front of these two devices, you get an IPS LCD capacitive display sporting a 6.5 inches on the Oppo A92 and a bigger 6.85 inches on the 08 together with a 90Hz refresh rate and a touch sampling rate of 180Hz. Consuming content on this device display is really amazing thanks to the punch hole camera cutout on the right side of the phone though you will be getting a little chain below the display. On the 08, you will be getting a single fire speaker, while on the, on the A92, you are graded with a dual stereo speaker. Wow, this is a device that is 8,000 Naira or 21 US dollar cheaper than the 08. Here is how it sounds during media, media consumption. Kindly let me know in the comment section which of the speaker sounds better to you. Based on the software, these two phones run on Android Thank You, stitched with their different skin UI, which are XOS 7.0 Dolphin on the 08 and Color OS 7.1 on the A92. I love the Bluetooth free on the Color OS, but that of the XOS is really horrible, though they can all be uninstalled. I wish the next XOS 8.0 will come Bluetooth free. I won't say that navigation are really smooth because I noticed some little lags while using them. Also, the skin UI comes with a lot of added features ranging from screen recording, side panels, etc. For the processors, the 08 rocks a MediaTek Helio G90 C, which is a gaming channel processor built on 12 nanometer architecture, while the E92 rocks a Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 built on 11 nanometer architecture. Obviously, the 08 wins in this category with the higher Helio G90 T but the downside is the heat you get during heavy use though Infinix added a liquid cooling system for cooling on the other hand the, I love the way the Snapdragon 665 was able to handle the heating issues during heavy use despite being a lesser processor in this game the 08 comes with an 8GB RAM and a 128GB internal storage while the A92 also comes with the same storage specs during my use, I tested the cameras on both devices and the result really turned out differently from what I thought initially because on the 08 you get a massive 64 megapixel which is a Sony IMX 6AC sensor. Also you get an 8 megapixel wide angle shot, 2 megapixel depth sensor and a 2 megapixel micro sensor while in the front you have a 48 megapixel main and an 8 megapixel wide angle in a dual camera cutout. On the Oppo A92, you have a 48 megapixel main, 8 megapixel wide angle, 2 megapixel depth, and 2 megapixel black and white sensor, which I don't even know the use of this black and white sensor. While in the front is a 16 megapixel main in a single camera cutout. On both, devi on both devices, you can shoot video up to 4K at 30 FPS with no electronic image stabilization, but on the 1080p. 30 fps or 60 fps you can have the image stabilization turned on on both the front and back cameras here's my camera samples from the front and the back On the battery aspect, this phone really performed well 
For the 08, you get a 4500 mAh battery with a Tesla watch charger, while on the Oppo A92, you get a 5000 mAh battery with a lower 18 watt charger, all on USB Type C. Thank you so much for watching up to this point, and if you enjoyed what you've seen so far, kindly click that subscription button. My final conclusion about this comparison are as follows. There are two kinds of people that falls in different categories and they are number one the gamers or the photographers. So if you enjoy gaming on your phone or maybe you consume a lot of content on your phone, I will advise you go for the Infinix 08 for better experience especially with the 90Hz refresh rate which is priced at 116,900 naira or 305 US dollars. Secondly, if you take a lot of pictures or you are a mobile photographer, the best for you is the Infinix 08, so you can have the full experience of that Sony IMX686 sensor. While for videographers or cinematographers, especially upcoming content creators or YouTubers like me, my best opinion is the Oppo A92, which is priced at 109,900 or 284 US dollars. I believe that this video have helped to make a choice on which of them you should get. If it did, kindly leave a like and a comment to let me know which of these phones you will be getting and why. Also subscribe as it will help the channel and also don't forget to click that bell icon for notification on when I drop my next video. Still remains your boy Derek, the Derek Tech and I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Peace.